death is the final punchline at the end of everyone's life. Though not everyone gets to laugh. You'll reach your own end soon enough. But this story isn't about you. This story is about the humble town of Flatwood Peaks. Where you'll find a variety of pleasant folk. Including one young lady named Penny Dowood. Penny is just a regular person with a regular job. But big dreams and an almost disturbing interest in the morbid. Oh, you might be thinking, Aha, I know where this story is going. Penny will start climbing the corporate ladder at work, eventually leaving to start her own competing business, buying out her own boss, and later on in her mid-forties, realizing that all the wealth she'd accumulated could not buy back the friendship she'd sold out in her obsessive quest for corporate success. <laughs> that story isn't going to happen. I don't know why you thought that story would happen. It really says more about you than it does about anyone else. The reason that story isn't going to happen is very simple. Penny Dowood is about to have her whole life flipped. Excuse me, dearie. Behold, mortal! You have entered the domain of the dead! To where would you like us to send your restless soul? Perhaps it shall reside in the jar of endless torment! Or, for a nominal fee, mayhaps into the wooden closet of hell to be lowered into the very maw of Hades himself? Let me just check my husband's will. <clears throat> Mrs. Doward, while I do appreciate your, um, passion for performance, I'm afraid this is one egregious step too far. Come on, Halloween is in a few weeks. Right, but this is a funeral home! You're fired, Penny! Well, you can't fire me. I quit! You can't quit, Mrs. Doward. I just fired you. My quitting is retroactive, boss. How's that taste? Hey, Penny! Come on, boyfriend. Future Penny can easily find a new job tomorrow. But for now, present Penny is in a bad mood and wants to cheer herself up. And food, movies, and smooches are gonna be perfect! Hey, can you drive? All right, rest in peace, past Penny, who had a job that didn't let her have fun. Next stop, anything but that. So you're keeping the demon horns? I like them. Yep, best part of the uniform, and I had to pencil it into the dress code. And don't worry about the job. You'll probably fall into a new one within the week. Ideally, it'll be the one that lets me keep the spooky Halloween theme. Yeah. Hey, the fog's getting pretty thick. Oh, what the? Whoa, are you okay? Fine. Not hurt at all, actually. That was really lucky. Good. Take that, Death! <sighs> we better get back before the fog gets even thicker. We can take care of the car later. Let's cut across the graveyard. Really? We almost died once today. What are you, afraid of ghosts? Penny, if a real ghost appeared, you would probably be a little afraid. Nah, I just say, ah, holy crap, a ghost! And then be totally cool. Classic me. Ooh, a mausoleum. Let's check it out. I don't know. As you can see, it's perfectly safe.
Bennett Durwood had just been fired. This was not the first time she'd been fired for, in her words, just trying to liven things up, but it would be the last. Deciding not to let a funeral home bring her down, Penny drove off with her boyfriend, Elliot, to try to have a fun night out. And were it not for someone, or something, appearing on the road in front of them, she might have succeeded. Seeing something on the road, Penny did the sensible thing and crashed her car into a tree. Luckily for Penny, this didn't kill her. Unluckily for Penny, sneaking into the creepy old mausoleum for makeouts afterwards, only to crash through a rotting floor and fall to a gruesome death, did kill her. The end. Thank you for playing. There is no moral. Okay, fine. It, while, as the player controlling the game, you're technically responsible for everything that happened here today, I don't blame you. Instead, like Penny, I'd like to offer you a second chance. Wha where am I? What happened? <gasps> Holy crap! A ghost! Welcome to the land of the dead. <laughs> Cute. No, see, there must be a mistake because I am an alive human. Ah, denial. The first stage. You get through it. After that, there's anger and bargaining, both fun, and then depression, honestly a drag, but then acceptance. Okay, good luck on your journey. I'm not in denial! I deny it! Welcome to the party! Sorry, not dead. Also, not in denial. Hey there, newbie! Don't forget to book the spa early if you want a place. It fills up with ghosts fast. I'm not a go- Wait, there's a spa? Well, there's a cesspool of tears. Can't miss it. It's always screaming. Somehow. That's not a spa. Right, and you're not a ghost. my problem yet, and I... My apologies, Lady Elder Doe. As I'm sure you know, staffing is an issue here, and we're all doing our best under very difficult circumstances. Now, if you've got a complaint, Form XP-532-7 can be filled out, and... Yes, I've got a complaint. I've been stuck here with unfinished business. You need to fix this right now. I'm telling you right now, if you don't, I'll... Uh, again, Lady Elderdell, if you've got a complaint, the wonders of Form XG-532-7... I'll... Oh, oh, dash you! I'll... Hey, sorry to interrupt, uh, whatever this is. But I think there's a small chance I may have died, um, somehow, and... Wait, what are you doing here? Demons aren't allowed on this level. Oh, <laughs> I'm not a demon. I'm actually just... Oh my gosh, the temp I ordered! Finally! The temp? The temp! Finally, after 1,825,911,238 hours without a break, I get a vacation! Oh, the moon, here I come. The... the moon? You've never been? It's the one place near Earth where nobody has ever died. No ghosts, no demanding restless spirits, just a peaceful wasteland of rest, relaxation, and rock collecting that's over 300,000 kilometers from the nearest soul. <sighs> Can't wait. Uh, You'll need this scythe. Okay. And this cloak company policy, but... and I'm sure Lady Elderdo can provide any training you need. She clearly believes she knows what's best for everyone. Why, you, you insolent. Well, goodbye. Death is going on vacation. 